hello friends in this video i'm going to show you how to do curve fitting in excel right so let us take a sample data here in this excel sheet i have a data of pressure and volume temperature so this is volume temperature water and the corresponding pressure and i have a plot for that right so this is a plot for the data on the x-axis it's pressure and on the y-axis it's volume temperature of water in the initial phase. Now this is these are the data points, right? So here I need to find a curve fitting. I need to do curve fitting, right? So how to do? It's very simple. You just have to click on any of the data, right? Here, after clicking any of the data, you just have to right click it and then say add trend line, right? So after clicking on add trend line, you will have this kind of window. Where you have option to select exponential, linear, logarithmic, polynomial, power, or moving average, right? So depending on the data, you can choose either of these, right? So in this case, I'm going to try with polynomial, and this is the order of the polynomial. As you can see, that the, the, the moment you click, the curve fitting is done for you, right? There is some gap between the curve fit and the actual data. So I'm I'm trying to increase the goodness of fit by increasing the order of polynomial since I have now I have third order polynomial and you can see that the curve is almost fitting right I can even further go and increase the degree of polynomial and you can see the better fit I am getting right so there is a measure of this fit there is a quantity you can quantify the goodness of fit right and that quantification is given by R square value right so I'll show this R square value and equation on the chart to do that you just have to go and check this box display equation on chart so it will display equation on chart and then again you have to go and click on display R square value so the more the R square the better is your fit right so the range of R square is from 0 to 1 so 1 means your fit is best 0 means your fit is worst so it's like the equation trend line which gives you higher R square right or if you are choosing polynomial you can go and increase the order of polynomial so that you get better fit right so this is a fit that I have obtained and I can just simply go and type this equation here and check whether the fit is proper or not and one more thing that that so many people are asking right so even i am getting the r square value as 0.999 or point or approximately equal to one i am not getting the best fit so the problem is not the fit uh, not that the fit, the fit is not good the problem is coefficient values that you are taking does not have a higher degree of accuracy right so what i want to do is i want uh, you can see that i have three to four digits right number of significant digit is just three to four here or in some cases it is five so how can i get the coefficient value with a higher significant of significant digits right so to do that you just click on this equation and then right click and then click on format trend line label now here in order to ensure that you have accurate coefficients which you have to go to scientific data and then increase the number of decimal points right sometimes four is enough sometimes you can go have to go to higher value right so i've selected six decimal points so you can see that all these digits be having all these coefficients will be having a higher number of significant digits right so i can just simply copy it and then go and paste it here right and just go and paste and it's not right pasted it so you can just go and check this and it is coming almost very good right so this is how you can do curve fit in excel and if you have any doubt regarding curve fitting in excel you can just comment it in my video i'll try to give solution as soon as possible right so thank you very much friends for watching this video if you have not subscribed to my channel and want to get notification on my new videos then i request you to subscribe it